Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a PS3 controller for Minecraft on PC. This works for Windows Vista 7 and 8. I don't actually know about XP, but it should do. And it works for almost every PS3 controller as long as you have the cable to plug it in with. Uh, select the first link in the description and it will download this zip file here. Uh, this link may look a little bit different in the future, but as long as it's still here, uh, just tell me if it's broken. Once this is downloaded, you can close Chrome and it's actually downloaded this file here. Double click on that and open it with whichever zip software you want to use. I use WinRAR uh, and extract it to wherever you want. I'm going to take it to the desktop because it's easy to see there. Um, and then <laughs> I've got OCD, don't worry. Uh, double click on that to install it. Select yes, uh, next, and just install it as you'd install any normal program. Uh, as so, I'm going to make a desktop icon because I would like one and do not run it and just click finish. Now close the Chrome page uh, or whatever page you're using um, and right click this shortcut and select run as administrator and select yes on the window you probably can't see. Um, then get your PS3 controller and plug it in. Where is the wire? There it is. And you'll hear the noise if it's done it right. Then go to driver manager, select the tick box and select install all. And then select the tick box again and select load driver. And it should make two noises Then select X. Uh, and then you can uninstall that if you want. I don't particularly need it anymore. You don't need it after this. You can just install it straight away. There's no point having it on your system. Uninstall it. And there you go. It'll bring up the Chrome page again. Don't need that. And then you can close this. Then go to the second link in the description, which is for better DS3. Uh, go to this page and click the big blue download button and that will download this zip file here. Once again, open it with whichever zip software you want to use. Uh, I'm using WinRAR. Um, extract it to wherever. I'm going to extract it to the desktop again and close out of that. Then you can double click on better DS3 and as long as you still have your PS3 controller plugged in, it will look like this. Then select new, X input, type in whatever name you want to do. I'm going to put YouTube um, and then select autofill Xbox 360. That will change all the layouts and then click save profile. Uh, then select the profile you just made. I've made a few in the past, Nigel Potato. Um, just select the one you just made, YouTube or whatever you called it and select apply. Uh, then you can minimize this, but don't close it. Uh, before you move on to the next step, you need to go to the start menu and type in configure Java. If I could see my keyboard. Um, start menu is obviously going to look a lot different. Jesus Christ, I can't see my keyboard. My mic's in the way. Um, it's going to look a little bit different on Windows 7 or whatever, but as long as you type in configure Java and you get this up, it's fine. Go over to security. Usually this will be at medium or high or very high even. Drag it all the way down to medium and select OK. As long as it's down there, uh, select OK. Then go to the third link in the description, which is for mind control. It will ask you if you want to download it because it doesn't know if it's safe. It's perfectly safe. Do not worry, but I've already got it, so I'm not going to download it, but just click keep usually. Um, and that will download this here, right click it and select open with Java web start launcher. This will obviously look different on windows seven and XP and Vista again, but just right click it as you don't right click anything else. And the menu will look a bit more like this. But as long as you are selecting Java Web Start Launcher, so select that. Uh, the first time you run it, it will usually ask you, do you wish to accept this? And you just click the tick box and select run. That's perfectly fine. But now as long as you've done everything right, it should say Microsoft Xbox 360 controller here. And now you should be able to use your right stick as the mouse, which is cool. Uh, but still, your mouse should still work. Uh, I'm going to move into Minecraft and show you how it works. Okay, so in Minecraft, you can use the right stick to move around and R2 to click. Just click into whatever you want. You can navigate the menus pretty easily. Um, so I'm going to open a world here. Uh, the controls are pretty good, to be fair. They're exactly the same as the 360 version, as far as I'm aware. Um, so you can open up things and stuff. Do all your Minecraft related things. Um, so yes, thank you for watching this tutorial. Do not forget to subscribe for updates. Uh, if you want to, you can share this tutorial. I don't really mind. Um, and anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you sometime soon. Goodbye.